Kenya is ranked 15th among the 22 high TB burdened countries in the world and currently there is an estimated 2,300 multi-drug resistant tuberculosis patients and 90,000 new TB cases reported yearly. The coastal region, Nyanza and Nairobi, have the highest cases of TB, with the Ministry of Health holding door-to-door -door campaigns towards bringing down the risk. Dr. Joseph Sitiene, head of Communicable Disease Prevention and Control in the Ministry of Health, says TB is treatable, but only if one sticks to the prescription given. TB is real. TB is curable and you can get, you can heal. If you have anybody who has any cough next to you, or you know of somebody who lives somewhere and they have a cough, please tell that person to go to the nearest health facility. They will be diagnosed, they will be put on medication if they have TB at no cost at all. Just like malaria, TB has in the recent times become resistant to drugs, a fact attributed to various issues. You are told to swallow four tablets every day and you decide to swallow two. Then you are underdosing yourself. And that means the exposure of the medicines to these germs is lower than is expected and the germs will develop quickly how to surmount that because they are not killed. They survive and then they learn how to survive in that environment. The other thing is, they'll be taking this medication as prescribed, taking the four tablets every day. But then you're also busy taking uh, things like alcohol or other things that have influence on the way these medications work in you. That will also affect the level of the medicines that will be available. Among the 38% of TB cases occur in people suffering from HIV AIDS, from the onset of HIV AIDS in Kenya in the year 1984, the fight against the TB took another turn, being one of the opportunistic diseases for HIV AIDS. All the HIV patients who are being seen in the, in the health facilities, they had to be screened for TB. Those who had TB had to be referred, or those who had symptoms of TB had to be referred for further workup to see if they have TB. If they have TB, they are put on medication for TB. So this was a strategy which Kenya adopted in 2005. TB treatment is free in public hospitals and anyone suffering from the following symptoms should seek medical advice. A bad cough that lasts three weeks or longer, pain in the chest, coughing up blood, weakness or fatigue, weight loss, no appetite, chills, fever, sweating at night. It is reported that there is one new infection occurring per minute with worldwide 2 million deaths and 9 million new cases of disease annually. Uh, when, when the saliva dries because it's suspended in the air, it leaves something that continues floating in the air. If you are in a dark room, the TB jam can live for years. When you walk in and you breathe it in, it goes to your lungs and starts multiplying. However, TB also, on the other flip side, is a disease that when the, the germs are exposed there, they die very fast. Then they are exposed to sunlight. And sunlight kills the germs within five minutes. Poor diagnosis, poor ventilation and lack of accessing medical attention in time has been said to play a role in spreading of TB epidemic.